Okay, so today we're going to do the derivative of tangent x and while we're doing that we're going to show a trig identity. We're going to do this derivative to also show this at the same time. Okay, so derivative of tangent x, first let's go there. So tangent x, so let's write that in terms of sine and cosine. Okay, so in terms of sine and cosine, we've got sine of x over cosine of x. So to take the derivative of this, we will do the quotient rule. So we end up with cosine, let's just write that a little bit wider. So we end up with cosine of x times the derivative of sine x, which is also kind of, uh, cosine of x. Subtract that from sine of x times the derivative of cosine of x, which is negative sine of x. And then divide all that by the denominator squared, which is cosine of x squared. Okay. Let's simple this up, simplify this out. So cosine of x times cosine of x, cosine squared x. Sine of x times minus sine of x is minus sine squared x. But the minus here as well makes it a plus. And all divided by cosine squared of x. Okay, right, this is the crunch point. So cosine squared of x plus sine squared of x, we all know a good trig identity for that one, but we could also split the fractions. So let's split the, split the fractions first. Cosine squared of x divided by cosine, cosine squared of x, it's just one. And then we're gonna add Sine squared of x divided by cosine squared of x. Well, we know sine over x, sine of x over cosine of x is tan x, so this is just tan squared x. So that is the derivative of tangent x. Oh, let's write this at the top there. plus tan squared x. Another way we can do it, cosine squared of x plus sine squared of x, we know that that equals 1. So now we're left with 1 over cosine squared of x and 1 over cosine of x is secant x, so this is just secant squared of x. So we could also say that d dx tan x is secant squared of x. So we've got one derivative of tangent x is 1 plus tan squared x, and another derivative is secant squared x. So these two must be the same. So what we can say is tan squared x. And if that's true, what we could also say is that just by moving the one across, okay, so already by doing the derivative of tangent x, we found the derivative of tangent x, which is secant squared x, which we'd also write as one plus tan squared x. And we've also shown a trig identity that secant squared x equals 1 plus tan squared x and secant squared x minus 1 equals tan squared x. So all in all, we've shown ourselves two derivatives of tangent x and two trig identities.
which have come from the derivative of tangent x.